some win for Teddy there, but Cork really they should be kicking it. So I think they left that one behind them. They got bullied at half time. They must have had what is probably the worst half time speech of all time if they're going to come out. And of the first, let's say, they had one chance after 38 minutes to score the free kick. Kenny had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven chances while Cork had one to start of the second half. And TJ Reid, of course, going to town on freeze. I think that was one of TJ Reid's best performances. Uh, I like generally he performed brilliantly. And one of those best performances. He didn't score from play, but he just consistently set up chances throughout the whole game. Uh, assists, uh, hitting the freeze, winning ball, winning his own freeze. Absolutely outstanding. Richie Hogan hasn't been in the team really all year. Uh, had so many injuries. Scores 1-2 and before he's taken off early, early-ish in the second half. Actually, all the subs who came on for Kilkenny were exceptional. Think of Wally Walsh with three points. Absolutely brilliant. He's had his injury issues. And actually, isn't it funny now that Kilkenny are starting to get close to the best 15 they have available possibly now coming to the business end of the season with Limerick coming up. Colin Fennelly 1-1. Had a great battle with Owen Cadigan. Would like to score 1-1, get the goal when they really needed it in the first half. John Donnelly got a couple of points. The other subs, Billy Ryan came on, got two points. Bill Sheehan, I thought he was going to get uh, whipped back off Luke Chadwick style um, when he dropped the first couple of balls that came his way. But ultimately he got his points and he set up a couple of scores as well. Um, in the first half, Kilkenny were under massive pressure in the full back line. Um, Seamus Harnley was playing in front of Alan Cadigan and Patrick Horgan and there was a lot of deck chairs being moved around by Kilkenny in that full back line in the first half. Joey Holder was on three different guys, initially Owen Cadigan, then he went on to Harnley, then he was put out on Lahan. Um, Paul Murphy was swapped around as well. Parik Walsh ultimately found himself on Alan Cadigan and slowed him up for a long time now. Ultimately Cadigan started doing damage on him as well. There was a lot of ball played into the, the top right corner and Cadigan was coming out, wheeling around and throwing it over as he does every single day. If Patrick Horgan wasn't in that Cork team today, God knows what they would have done because first half only three guys scored from play and it was pretty much Hor Horgan, Cadigan got the couple as well and Mark Coleman got one, um, I think he was overlapping on someone in the first half, got a nice score. But, but other than that, there were just very few guys who were threatened for scores, whereas Kilkenny had five scores from play in the first half, and as I said, TJ Reid wasn't one of them, even though he was in the game. Um, anything else that stood out? Yeah, actually, during, the, during that second half, so Kilkenny started like a, a house on fire, but I noticed they weren't following out the, the wing forwards for Park at all, so Luke Mead would come back inside his own 65, so would uh, uh, Daniel Carney as well. But if Cork won the ball, and there was a lot of Kilkenny numbers around the middle, you know, with Colin Fennelly up, up top and Wally Walsh up top as well. But Cork weren't able to drive the ball long, or it had to go all the way inside the 14 if it was going to reach a Cork guy, because basically Kilkenny had two lads sitting around the 45, and the ball would have to go all the way over to them, over them into the two guys inside Horgan and Cadigan if the ball was going to stay with a Cork guy. Cork just struggling, couldn't find a way to get the ball out the field and yeah, it was, uh, it was Kilkenny all the way, they certainly won. Um, Leash were coming out in the field there now, but uh, Kilkenny too, absolutely annihilated Cork. That's Cork's worst uh, performance to at Cork Park since the 2014 semi final against Tipperary. Massive pressure now for John Minor, end of his second season. He didn't get to the Munster final, having won the two previous ones. Got to the last two All-Ireland semi-finals, possibly should have won both. And they're out of the quarter-final stage after was was a pretty poor performance.